review. The review for where are we going here? The Euro Hike. I don't know how to pronounce this. Cans to Deluxe uh, with the Nightfall technology. So I'll start with the Uh, it's a really good sized tent. It's um, it does have a big footprint. It's not it's not a backpacking tent. You could take it backpacking, but it's not for the people that cut the toothbrushes in half and uh, and they're um, trying to save weight. It's not that kind of tent. It's a tent that's uh, a bit heavier, a bit bulkier than that. But it's not impossible for it, you to go backpacking with it, and it's got quite a big footprint. It's it's got a huge vestibule. Um, you know, in the world of two-man tents, it's got a really big vestibule, um, and uh, and I've actually cooked, sat in the vestibule and cooked in it when it has been raining, as opposed to sitting in the sitting in the bedroom area and then sort of leaning into the vestibule. Look, okay, I actually sat in the vestibule and, and cooked, so it's a, it's a really good space in there. The blackout technology is absolutely awesome it looks quite see-through actually because the sun's directly on it but it, it is actually a really good um, thing it does really blacken out everywhere um, and as you can see there's loads and loads of space um, two pockets there uh, there's two pockets at the other end um, and there's actually a, a hell of a lot of space we had two beds blow up beds in here next to each other with space either side and in the middle it was just so much room and then you have a little dubri up here that, that that covers up the roof but also if you let go of it uh, you can tie it back um, and I'm not really sure exactly what that does because it doesn't exactly line up you see the triangular square behind it that's the vent it doesn't exactly line up with that that's the vent and then that's the, the outside vent it doesn't line up properly so I'm not sure if that is what that's for plus this is mesh anyway but what it does do is uh, it is very dark in here and very dark during the day but what it does do is if you if you open it up it does it's like switching on the light it does let the light in so i don't know if it's for that um so yeah and also um when i put it up in the garden because i've tested this once in the garden um it uh it rained for like 12 hours solid and uh it basically held up except for an area i'm going to mention in the in the cons um but it did it did hold up pretty well it was only 60 pounds and that was probably over, well over a year ago um, so it's a, it's a relatively cheap tent but held up really well and it's got a really big footprint on it um, so you, you definitely is a, a, a not only for two people but you definitely are oh, would be comfortable you wouldn't be in each other's faces because there's loads of space in the bedroom and there's a huge vestibule as well so I like my vestibules right so the cons are this tent, this door design. Um, so, inevitably, if you live in the UK, you're going to get caught by the rain. So, what happens is, uh, if you've got the tent door open, the rain pours directly into the vestibule because it's, as you can see, it sticks out, sticks out further than the front. So, you have to do the tent up. So, you have to be inside the tent. You cannot get in. You cannot. Sort of open the tent and watch the rain sort of thing because it'll come straight in the other downside which is all to do with the door again is that obviously when it does pour down with rain as you can see there when you unzip it it drops inside the vestibule and everything just pours into the vestibule even if you manage to keep dry before that it pours into the vestibule that works the condensation too i've used it in the past with condin quite a lot of condensation inside and you know if you if you knock the tent all the condensation drips into the vestibule when you're unrolling it it will pause into the vestibule that is not, not a flaw of the design of the um sort of like lack of quality it's just a design issue uh, i've never liked that type of tent it, it causes a lot of damp and, and wetness um why have i got it yeah i didn't go into the shop for this one i went to the shop for another one that didn't have that and i just I kind of had it in my head to walk away with the tent. The last thing that was the con is that I'm not 
sure this is going to be easy to show but in in here you have a lovely little skirt we call it a skirt that is attached to the outer of the tent and the skirt goes underneath the, the um the ground sheet to sort of seal it off which is good and it's attached to the outside which which is a good thing but the trouble is they haven't you can see it's shiny now i've done it myself they haven't seam sealed this bit so after about a couple of hours it started seeping through and it would leak in here and run underneath the uh, ground sheet which isn't a problem itself but then when you push down on it you've got little puddles of, of, uh, of water in, in the, uh, the skirt and so when you push down on it it all spills over the top so it isn't a problem until you stand on it or put weight on it all the things that were laying on there like my, my drinks bottles and stuff like that they, they are weight and it just started pouring over the top so I had to sort of unhook this and peel it back and put things underneath this to try and keep it up um, you know you stay dry in, in a sense you're in the uh, if you stay in the uh, tent the bedroom area you stay dry um, but yeah that's a smart a small inconvenience they, they've they've not seam sealed any, any of the edges well because obviously you wouldn't because it just drips onto the floor it doesn't matter if that gets wet but they should have started seam sealing it when it became the vestibule which they didn't um, so I sealed that myself um, in the event of it happening again um, it wouldn't have been the end of the world if, if, if it does happen but you know now I know it's happening I've sealed it and that shouldn't be a problem again so with with that slight modification despite I think this is only a 2000 uh, hydrostatic head yeah so it's only a it's 2000 hydrostatic head which doesn't sound a lot but it it, it, it withstood 12 hours solid of heavy rain because the night I put it up in the garden it, it absolutely came down and it just didn't let up and it except for the the aforementioned issue um, it, it was no problem at all it, 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 it held up and everywhere stayed completely dry so yeah for 60 pound I think overall it's a good tent it's just that door design that that winds me up uh you know it's, it's, a, it's a real problem so so that's that's about the size of it really that, that's that's all you can really say about this tent um it's it's it comes in a in a quite a big bag um you know it has ha handles on it it's got fiberglass poles they, they never meant it to be a backpacker's tent um so i'm kind of thinking if you're going to travel in the car um, with the tent you might as well get a bigger one or you know you, you may as well because uh, if you're not carrying it why would you try and get the smallest one you can so I'd be sort of like thinking we'll just get a bigger, bigger one slightly better one um, so yeah it's kind of you know that sort of thing but um, and it's quite heavy I think it's about I can't remember now I did look it up and I've already forgotten I think it's about two, three thousand 3,000, 3.6 kilograms weight, so it's, it's quite weighty, but it is not impossible to take it if you're not going far on your backpack, uh, I have done that, um, so you know, you can't trek for days with it, probably be too heavy, but you could, you could do a small journey if you're just going to be a short journey from the car, um, but I'd say if you were, if you were doing what I'm doing and, and camping next to, the, uh, next to your tent, you, you, why would you have a little two-man tent? I might as well go up a size and get a bigger one and more, have more comfort, more space, and what have you. So, but at sixty pounds, not bad. So anyway, so that's that. Um, that's uh, that's what I think of that. And um, keep watching.